Hello guys, we are back with our next set of video lectures. In this series, we are going to start the subject advanced database management guys. So this subject is one of the most requested lectures guys. So these videos are recorded prior to the examination. So that is the reason why the videos will not be in depth and it will not be a detailed explanation because this is an elective subject guys where I selected one more subject that is nothing but graph theory. This is what I selected and all the videos for that subject were detailed and they are already uploaded and they are live already. But advanced database management system is a subject which I did not select. So I am not having that much clarity on the subject. So I'll be giving you some kind of introduction for most of the topics guys because even I, I have some basic idea about database management system because that's one of our core subject. And advanced database system is something which is advanced for that guys. So like adding some kind of classes, object and those kind of concepts or any kind of other programming languages like XML programming and all those things you will be learning in this whole subject guys. Okay. Okay. So in this series, we are going to start the first unit. Okay. In which you will be covering all these topics guys. So I'll be just introducing mostly all the topics. And I'll be giving you some some points that you can remember and that you can write in your examination. Okay, so these are all the topics guys. So in simple you can say it the whole chapter discusses about object based database guys. Okay, okay. So let us first understand what is object relational data model. So basically we know what is a relational data model, right? Yes. So any database which is having some data in the format in the form of rows and columns with some relation between them. So basically a student table will be having the student details that is nothing but student name, student age, student date of birth, etc, etc, etc. So each and everything is related to the student. So student is the table name and everything will be the attributes, right? So this is a normal representation of relational databases. So whenever you are moving on to advanced things like you want the concepts of object oriented that is nothing but oops concepts we will be calling it as right so object oriented programming concepts so these concepts include inheritance arrays constructors and all those things guys so we want to include these all also into our database like into our sql commands you want to include these things also so is it possible the answer is yes this is possible guys in few versions the latest version of sql is sql Nine, sorry 2019 in which there are only few futures so basically in conceptual there are many futures guys but in reality there are only few futures which are available in the current version or in multiple versions of sql guys okay okay so let us start with the theory so object relational database model so it is nothing but extend the relational database model by including object oriented that is nothing but inheritance arrays lists and all those things guys and constructions or constructors to deal with additional data types so basically you can even create your own data types your functions and all those things you can create here guys okay okay so allow attributes of tuple to have complex types guys we'll be discussing about this complex types like what i mean by complex types don't worry so it includes atomic values such as nested relations so you'll be also having the nested relations and all those things okay so basically nested relations will help you in understanding the data in a proper way and to extract the data in a preferred way guys instead of using joints and all those things we will be going on through these nested relations okay okay so preserve relationship fund fundamentals in particular declaratives okay okay so let us continue okay so now you might be asking that what has this complex data types right yes so complex data types are nothing but those are non-atomic so in simple words you can say an array is a complex data type guys because whenever you are storing inside a database what you will be storing guys you'll be storing only a single value in a single row column address so if you assume that this spot is 1 comma 2 like assume in that column in the type of rows and columns i am saying inside that you will be having only a single value in a common database right yes so but when you move on to this complex data types you will be trying to store multiple things you see here set of integers or set of tuples so that are nothing but a non-atomic so the main objective of complex data types is to store non-atomic domain values guys okay similarly intuition intuition is nothing but to store them and to have relation in between them and but the only issue is that the normal forms will be violated completely guys because normal forms are 
the things that we will be learning we already learnt in database management system in our first series of lectures guys in a, in the previous semester so in that there are multiple forms guys like one two three four and five so these are the commonly you commonly have in in between you will be having bcnf also okay so basically when a database each and every database should follow any one fall into any one of these form guys okay so but whenever you are going through complex normal forms our database will not be in any one of these forms guys so all the forms states that each and every row or column should have exactly one value only so to try even to understand or you to try even to try working with normal forms the first condition is that each and every row or row and column should have a single value so here if you observe the example of complex data database values it will be in this way so title was compilers the assume that the, that's the book name okay so the author is a smith and jones so here we are having two authors so this is completely violating the normal forms any kind of normal form similarly publishers we are having publisher names keywords we are having two keywords okay okay so we took a small example here so this is an example for nested relation guys so here the table is having multiple values so it is having a single title a list or an array of authors publishers with subfields name and branch so here if you observe here it is a combination so publisher is having a name and branch and he, this is the name of the publisher and the location name and the location similarly a set of keywords so it is a non relation in not in one bnf okay okay so if you try decomposing that table at least into 4nf why i am saying into 4nf is that because 4nf will be a bit easy to understand guys because in 4nf there are no conditions that there should be no repetitions and all those complex things which are there in 3nf or 2nf or 1nf right yes okay so, okay so that is the reason why we will be saying this is in 4nf so here you just separated each and every table guys so if you observe the same details are written but first you gave a separate table for author and the second table for keywords and the fourth third table for book so here there is a compiler title the publisher name and the publisher branch or the location similarly this names are having some keywords right so each of them is having two keywords so we are writing it twice okay so compiler compiler the both keywords network network to both keywords similarly the title title is also having two names sorry authors about author so author is also having two authors right so compiler is having two authors network is also having two authors so then we wrote the position so this position just indicates the position of the author guys first author second author first author second author in that way okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about it right okay so now let us discuss about some basic introduction about complex data types so what are they you you will be having a doubt right yes so basically the extension was introduced like initially it was started from sql 1999 to support complex data types guys it was introduced at that time okay and the first or the formal type is nothing but collection of uh, collect collection and large object types so basically here we discussed previously right so lists and all those things will be coming here and structured types guys will be discussing about them so this is also a type of nested records only similarly inheritance guys please make sure that you are perfect with the concept of inheritance guys because that's the most commonly asked question in examinations Similarly, object oriented. So basically creating objects and references and all those things. So these are the commonly used, but most of them are not included guys. So not fully implemented in all the databases currently, but some features are present in each of the major commercial database. Okay. So you can read the manual of database system of that particular version to know more about the details guys like which are supported here. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about SQL like object oriented right yes so some kind of futures are tried to add so the futures you can say that those are nothing but inheritance arrays lists and these nested values and all those things okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we will be going through the structured types guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching